Good morning, Bearcats. I'm Caleb. And I'm Dom. Today is Friday, February 9th, and this is Bearcat News. Today's lunch will be broccoli, potato rounds, tossed salad, with the choice of entree being chicken alfredo with breadstick, tortellini with breadstick, PB&J pack, or a chef salad. Now, let's go to Carly Keeney with some information about the Queen of Hearts campaign. Go. I'm Carly Keeney and I'm a nominee for this year's Queen of Hearts campaign. This is a campaign for the American Heart Association that lasts from February 2nd to April 4th. Cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes have affected so many people, and not only my own family, but my friends' families as well. No one deserves to lose a loved one, so helping out a cause to boost off new research and innovations is one step closer to protecting your loved ones. All proceeds go to local impacts around the Tri-Cities. The nominee who raises the most money will be crowned Queen of Hearts. I can be found at C-A-R-L-E-I dot Queen of Hearts on Instagram, or you can find me during school to make cash donations. Your support is greatly appreciated. HOSA wants to increase Bearcat's awareness of heart disease. Did you know one person dies every 33 seconds in the U.S. from cardiovascular disease? To date, about 48% of the U.S. population over the age of 20 are estimated to have cardiovascular disease, which includes coronary heart disease, heart failure, or high blood pressure. Did you know that February 29th is the rarest day of the year? World Rare Disease Day is February 29th. HOSA is encouraging everyone to wear stripes or zebra print on February 29th because stripes and zebra print are used to represent rare diseases. Did not know that. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Horticulture and culinary students will be selling flowers and cupcakes for Valentine's Day until February 13th in the cafeteria. This is cash only. A rose and a cupcake will be $6, and a carnation and cupcake will be 5 Cupcake flavors are chocolate and red velvet. Come grab some flowers and cupcakes for your special someone, or treat yourself. Off-season workouts have begun for any athlete who is wanting to, wanting to work on getting stronger or faster. The weight room will be open every Monday through Thursday before school at 7.30 or 9.30 if we're on a delay, and after school until 5.15. You must have a VHSL physical on file with the school before you can begin. If you have any questions, please see Coach Davenport or Coach Patterson. Once again, this is open to all athletes. Seniors, don't forget to buy a senior ad in this year's yearbook. Prices are $275 for a full page, $175 for half a page, $125 for a quarter of a page, and $65 for an eighth of a page. Let's go to Elijah Walker with a fact about Black History Month. Go! In 1949, actor Hattie McDaniel became the first black person to be nominated for and win an Academy Award for her performance as Mammy in the film Gone with the Wind. Appearing in more than 300 films, it was supporting her role in the classic 1939 movie that earned McDaniel an Oscar plaque statue wouldn't become the norm until a few years later. For honor through the achievement, it was history making. McDaniel and her guests were still required to sit separate from the other nominees as part of the still enforced segregation. Despite the accomplishment, it wouldn't take until 1991 for another black woman to bring, bring it home the same trophy. It is the distinction that goes to Whoop, Whoopi Goldberg, sorry, for her role in The Ghost. The first black woman to win a Best Actress Oscar, Holly Berry, who picked up the award in 2002 for her role in the film Monster Ball. Now, let's take a look at the upcoming Bearcat events. Today, there will be a boys and girls JV and varsity basketball game against Marion, which will be away. Also today, the indoor track team will go to Abingdon. Tomorrow, the varsity wrestling team will go against a team to be announced here at home. And on the 16th, the varsity indoor track teams will go against multiple schools. That's your Bearcat news for Win That's your Bearcat news for Friday. We all hope you have a successful day and stay classy, Bearcats.